The Relevance of the Quran to Modern Science Every prophet must have a miracle. Allah sent the large number of prophets to the human race in order to teach them their obligations from him and to give them a complete idea about his character. When someone came and said, I am a prophet from Allah, people would ask him for evidence that proved that he was true and not lying. Therefore God gave each prophet a miracle to ensure quick success, to give the prophet the chance to carry out his mission as directly and easily as possible without a lot of questions and confusion. From this we know some of the features of the prophet's miracles. The miracle is not the final target of the prophet's mission it is only a reason for trusting them. The miracle must be such that all may understand. This in order for it to be strong evidence, because if the prophet is given a miracle that his people cannot know or understand, they may say that he simply knows a new science or skill that they do not know. Thus, the miracle must be in a field which everyone is interested in and can understand. In this way they can know that the Prophet has a power from God. When the Prophet is sent to a certain nation, with its own civilization and level of scientific advancement, it is suitable for the miracle to be within their understanding as we said. For example, Moses was sent to Egypt, where people were skilled in magic, and knowledge about magic existed among the people. So when Moses brought his staff and transformed it into a snake, by God's permission, the action had a great impact because Moses's snake was able to eat the stuffs and robes of the Pharaoh's magicians, those who were skilled in magic. Similarly, when Jesus raised the dead and other medical miracles he impressed his people, who were skilled in medicine. In this way was every prophet sent to his nation. The difference between the prophet Muhammad and other prophets. There are two major differences between the prophet Muhammad and the other prophets, firstly, Prophet Muhammad said clearly that he is the last of all the prophets. Not one of the other prophets said that they were the last, not even Jesus, but the followers of other prophets may have misunderstood and become convinced that their prophet is the last one, in spite of the fact that he never claimed to be. Second, Prophet Muhammad said clearly that he was sent to the human race up to doomsday, meaning that he was sent not only to his nation and his time, not just the Arab people, but also to all peoples everywhere and every time until doomsday. This is a basic principle of Islam and it is clearly stated in the glorious Quran. The miracle of the Prophet Muhammad must be a scientific miracle. Believers of Muhammad will be people of great mind, brain. From this introduction we know that Muhammad as a prophet must have a miracle that is suitable to the information and arts of his nation those who were in the field of his mission. And at the same time he was sent to all nations with very different cultural information and great variations in understanding for arts and sciences. It is not logical to show every nation a stick which becomes a snake, or the power to raise the dead, because many nations are not interested in magic and not skilled in this type of strong action. And also the different civilizations, different generations have different tendencies, different languages, different places and different times. All these variables make a single miracle for all these nations an impossible probability. For the character of a miracle to be effective, it must be connected to human beings whatever their language, time, place or function, and that is what the Prophet Muhammad meant when he said, Allah never sent a prophet except with some miracles that are strong enough for people, his people, to believe in him. But the miracle which was given to me, is this inspiration from Allah to me, Quran, and for this I hope to be the greatest prophet in the aspect of followers, on doomsday. Thus, the miracle must be regenerated in every generation with new evidence that indicates that Muhammad is the last and greatest prophet. It is a miracle which has spread everywhere in spite of differences in geography and time and language. It is understood whatever the tongues and cultures of its people, because it is connected to the most important characteristic of the human being, the mind. Wherever people respect their minds they will believe in Muhammad because this miracle is aimed at the mind, the brain, it is a scientific miracle. The Quran states without any confusion this great Islamic fact, in time we shall make them see our signs and the utmost horizons and within themselves so that it will become clear unto them, that this, revelation, is indeed the truth. 
is it not enough that your sustainer is sees and knows everything? So, Allah and the Quran refuse their desires to see miracles of the senses, sensory miracles, and not of the mind, in spite of the fact that Prophet Muhammad also, like other prophets, had many sensory miracles. For example, he put his hand in dry land and at once water emerged from it, until all his followers could drink from the desert. He listened to a piece of meat as it spoke in his mouth, telling him that a Jewish man had poisoned it. At once he rejected it and no harm affected him. He spoke blessings on a small amount of food and suddenly the food increased until more than 1,500 of his followers could eat. He told many of his followers how and when they will die, and everything happened as he had said. Many prophecies until today are being fulfilled exactly as he predicted. Some Islamic scholars enumerated the miracles of Muhammad that are concerned with actions which circumvent natural laws, like those of Jesus and Moses and other prophets. He found that there were more than 1,000 miracles and he said as the end of his large book, I tried to, summarize and to be as brief as I can. In spite of this huge number of miracles of the senses which broke the natural laws, the Prophet Muhammad did not consider them important except for the miracle within the Quran, the scientific miracle, and only refers to the mass belief of all people up to doomsday. Because these scientific miracles are prophecies and scientific facts can be understood, in any time and place where human beings can research and think and discover. Science is the universal language and the universal nationality. The differences between the miracles of science and the miracles of the senses. The scientific miracles in the Quran are stronger in effect and longer in duration than miracles of the senses and that is for the following reasons. 1. The scientific miracle, is the greatest difference between the character of Muhammad's nations and that of other nations. This is because miracles of the senses are not effective except in the type of people that are losing awareness of the high targets of mission. They are, as if asleep or drowsy, the scientific miracle. However, is for those who are highly qualified intellectually. The Prophet's intention with the former type of people is to shock them vigorously by a miracle, breaking all their preconceptions, in order to attract their attention to the great danger that is waiting for them at doomsday. This method is suitable only to people who do not use their minds to discern whether the Prophet is true. But the scientific miracle is directed at that type of people that uses their minds with greater quality. The Prophet's intention with them is to give decisive evidence that he speaks truly. This is the greatest difference between the method of Muhammad and the method of other Prophets, or to put in another way it is the difference between the type of the people called by Muhammad and the type of people called by the other Prophets. The miracle of the senses is for those who only wish to see it, and scientific miracle is for those who use their brains. The reason for this is. The miracle of the senses depends on a great shock to the senses of those who are seeing it because it breaks natural laws like raising the dead or changing a stick to a snake, and other things which are unimaginable. They cannot be repeated to anyone who wants to see them again, especially after the death, of the Prophet. So these miracles are very strong and surprising to the generation of the Prophet, but they are very weak after the Prophet's era, because no one can repeat it again. No one except Moses can change a stick into a snake by the permission of Allah. It is against the laws of the mind, unreasonable, and against the habits of humans, so no one can trust that it actually happened and it becomes very weak when you hear about it. If we return to the function of the miracle, we recall that it must be a way and method for the final target. We know that a miracle of the senses loses its function after the one generation when the Prophet dies. The scientific miracle is very convincing to everyone who has a brain because it gives a great and continuous challenge. By stating advanced, scientific information that cannot be discovered except by high technology and great scientific and mental effort, it comes as a great surprise. For example, it is astonishing to know that a person in the 7th century at was stating decisively that the earth is round and not flat, that the heavens are expanding continuously and are not constant that everything in the universe is relative, relativity, that only the skin pain receptors feel pain, that fingerprints are specific to every person, and many other surprising scientific facts.
This advanced information in the Quran is very strong evidence all the more so that it is absolutely impossible that this man could have known it by himself, since no one could have taught him this highly advanced knowledge because the majority of it was not discovered until the second half of the 20th century, after huge efforts and sacrifices. A dangerous question comes to mind, who taught Muhammad relativity in the 7th century, and who taught him the relativity of time and the changes in the heavens, here on earth? Who taught him about the Big Bang Theory? Who taught him about the collapse of stars to black holes? In the age of science and Lucifer's technology gained through black magic and satanic rituals, to become believer of Kalki Kalika Muhammad. It is important to activate your midbrain to realize supercomputer brain of Kalki Mohavatar, the Doomsday Avatar. Discover all answers by buying rare book Muhammad and the Greatest Miracle, the relevance of current to modern science before Antichrist Elon Musk hijacks your brain discernment with near-